Hello. Thank you for having me in your home again today. We are just a few days away from our midterm elections. And then we have the 55th Diocesan Convention. We have lots of stuff going on around us and in us, in our lives and in the diocese and in the country. And it will be after two years of taking a break with the COVID and all the issues that we have had, we are coming back together in person. But first, I want to invite you to pay attention to the upcoming midterm elections as I started this conversation. It is our solemn duty, and of course I don't need to tell you anything about it, as citizens and good neighbors to vote. That's all I will tell you, to vote please. We are a nation that prides itself on being a democracy. Our political affi affiliations may differ. Yes, you and I may have a different political affiliation, but still we are a democracy and we are happy about it and therefore Regardless of our political differences, if you believe in our governing style as democratic, then it is time for you and me to vote. We cannot take it lightly or be discouraged by whatever else is going on in the nation or around us. You and I are obliged to our nation and to the world we live in today uh, the principles of good governance and good neighborhood and good relationships. Real politics, if, I, if you ask me, I will say, is the art of good relationships. If my politics leads me to uncharitable life or unkind activities and unkind, uncaring acts, then I am not a politician. I am an opportunist. I know you are not that, neither am I. We are Episcopalians. And so I invite you to stand for justice and truth, to show mercy and live humbly as we read in the book of Micah. Support the weak and support the faint-hearted. Care for the creation. Protect the unprotected and marginalized. Be the champion that supports the cause of humanity. Help each other to respect the dignity of all people. As presiding Bishop Michael Curry often says, if it is not about love, then it is not about God. And I've said this many times in the past as well. So nothing new, but I just want to repeat that. Remember that every day and especially in the coming days. It is our duty to vote. We have a moral and spiritual obligation to vote and let our form of government know what our wishes are. It is easy to get discouraged with the politics and politicians and political ideologies, lawsuits and war and violence around us. If you and I do nothing, nothing about stopping these inhuman behaviors, if we do not elect the right and the best leaders to lead and guide us, we have become part of the problem and not part of the solution. So today, I want to invite you, I want to invite you to please exercise your God-given freedom, the gift of freedom, and vote on November 8th for the candidates you think would best serve our nation, our nation, and then accept the result as faithful citizens of a nation that is proud of its history, its heritage, and looking forward to the future, how the democracy will look like for the rest of the world. Now that's about voting. After you cast your vote, return home. I'm sure you will. I don't need to tell you that. When you come home, rest a couple of days and for all the clergy and leaders, delegates, come to Boise for our 55th Diocesan Convention and come together as one community. Exercise our freedom a second time in the church context. Let us gather and celebrate and encourage one another. Let us be ready for a year of celebration. That's what I call a year of celebration. Not only just one year of celebration, year after year, you and I together as a diocese, let us celebrate. I'm very excited for the Diocesan Convention. 
We have lots of people working hard to make it a meaningful and memorable event. From Emmanuel Little Church in Placerville and St. Michael's in Boise, East and West and Central and Southwest deaneries, there are several people involved in making this uh, event a meaningful experience. We will strive to live stream whatever we are doing at the business sessions on Friday and Saturday. And we will try to live stream the Holy Eucharist from the cathedral, maybe through Facebook Live or YouTube, somebody helping us to make it happen. Even though I have attended several diocesan conventions and general conventions and clergy conferences, you know, as well as I do, this is the first time I'll be facilitating helping a diocesan convention to come together. And that too, after having taken a break for all of us for a couple of years. So, I'm going to tell you, I am going to give permission to myself to make some mistakes and ask your forgiveness. And I promise you, I will learn along with the rest of our crew in the diocesan office, all our deans and clergy and clergy leadership and standing committee and diocesan council. We are all going to learn together. But one thing we are going to learn is to be kind and compassionate and caring and forgiving no matter what happens because at the end of the day, that's what will take us to the next moment. It is this kindness and love and love that surpasses all understanding. That's a gift for you and that's a gift for me. And so let us make this diocesan convention an absolute celebration in which we greet, we care, we love, we celebrate and we become one family of the Episcopal Diocese of Idaho. The whole focus of the diocesan convention this year will be rebuild my church, something I spoke about before I came to the Diocese of Idaho. The ideology of St. Francis of Assisi that was seen by the church at the time to rebuild our church and it is yours and mine solemn call to rebuild our church. So we are going to rebuild our church together by living, loving and life-giving embrace of every human being we encounter until the day we die. I am so proud. I am so glad. I am so grateful to God for every congregation, every member I have met in the last few months. It has been a great joy. I see life fully and beautifully li lived out in a, in a most beautiful way in our local congregations and I cannot wait. I just can't wait to meet you or in person in one place. Looking forward to the 55th Diocesan Convention. God bless you abundantly and see you soon.